G'day all. Welcome to Washington DC. Was it Philadelphia a few hours ago? Uh, oh, just past the sky. And this is the city centre of Washington. Now, I am actually uh, heading for the White House. It's probably the most thing I wanted to see here. Um, so, uh, should be interesting. So many pictures on the uh, TV before. But to be uh, actually in the city is pretty cool. Impressions of the city so far? Not much so far, but I've only just start. I've only just come in, so um, let's see if I can get across here. Yeah, where is he telling me to turn? It's not um, doesn't seem to be big high rises in this uh, this city. Uh, well, so far. Seems to be all. I noticed when I was coming across along, along a high, um, like a freeway from like 50 miles out, you could get a view of the area. And there isn't. There's sort of like a limit. I suspect they've got a limit on their the height of their buildings. I do like big, tall ones, particularly ones that look good. It does help. But there you go. We're only 0.6 of a mile. Well, I actually plotted in the vis there's a Washington, oh, sorry, no, White House Visitor Center. I was going to go there. I don't know how I'm going for time. Oh, it's 10 to 5. I've my GPS is telling me it's point. 0.5 of a mile and it's telling me I've got to turn at this street here turn right I stopped at a hotel just back there um, just to get a map of the city and I uh, spent 20 minutes talking to people about the trip because they wanted to know where I'd come from So it's just up here somewhere. I wonder what the taxi drivers are like here. Do they more consider it? I'm going to find out in a minute. Get the jam between two buses. What do you reckon? It's a bus sandwich. need a bus sandwich. Oh, it's saying it's just here. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. 
in DC. Um, I stayed here overnight. I'm just having a look around. I went to the White House yesterday. Uh, wasn't as big as what I thought it was actually. I thought it was larger than what uh, what I've seen on the TV. But anyway. Um, Yeah, so I'm just having a bit of a cruise around the area. I'm going this way. I think the city's up, up this way somewhere. Don't know what that building is there. Looks like, um, I don't know, just guessing, some sort of shrine or something. Who knows? Oh, where does this go? Maybe not to the city. <laughs> Oh, anyway, doesn't matter. So I'll stand up on the pegs. No, you can't see. <laughs> Big river here. Now oh, the city's. I'm pretty sure the city's definitely behind us. So I am going out of the way. Anyway, can't help bad luck. I don't know what like. that area is over there, that's like another area. That's like another area. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, it is. It's a really riveting explanation. We'll just go around here. Look at that, it's got two big... Oh, it's hard to look left when you're turning right. Uh, now, where are we going now? There's a road that goes along the river there. Oh look, we'll go, we'll go down this way. Here we go, get to see a bit of the river. Oh, looks like somebody's stacked here. Oh gee. This is a nice area along here. Well, this is part of Washington, D.C. We're just not right in the city. I've got no idea where I'm going. So let me just move out to this little boat because he's in a bit of a hurry. We're right over a hole. I went through a massive one last night. Jeez, I really felt it in the back. Well, when I say it wasn't that massive, but um, it really jarred the back. Theodore Roosevelt Island. Let me get off here. We'll go in here so I can work out. I can work out where um, I've got to go because that road looks like it's sinking me away from where I want to be. I want to head back into the uh, city area. Some little fishermen here. Pretty cool buildings around here, if you're into buildings that is. You might find it rather boring though, but I like a nice looking building. And there's a lot of them around here. Just went past the American History Building. This building here, what's this one? Some museum I suspect. Oh, it's the National Museum of Natural History. So we had American history and natural history. There's no way I'm going in any of those. This one. They all look pretty similar, these along here. Archives of the United States of America, that one just across over there I'm looking at. Where do 
I go? Should I go up here? Or straight ahead? I'll go straight ahead. Oh, what's that? The Chester Dale collection. Oh. Oh, what's that building? Oh, now what's this? Might have a lot of tour buses around. And school kids for that matter. What building's this I wonder? Oh, I don't know. That cop was looking at me and said, what are you doing? Oh, that's pretty impressive. Look at that. I wonder what that is. Yield. Oh, I hate going around back to front roundabouts coming from Australia. Here we go the other way. It's all a bit confusing. Where does this go? Oh, no, let's just go up here. Is this a dead end? You're enjoying the tour of Washington, <laughs> Washington D.C. Because I've got no idea where I'm going. Anyway, you get a good look. I think that'll just about do it, I think. I think I've had enough of Washington. Let's go, bro. What's this building up here? It's a little bit different. Ah. Oh, I'm worn out, to be honest. Got up at six o'clock this morning. I said to myself, I want to get out of Washington DC by 12 o'clock. I'm heading for Knoxville. I'm trying to, I'm going to get, try and get as far as I possibly can heading towards um, uh, sort of Nashville. The interesting thing is there's this massive thunderstorm coming um, including tornado warnings in that region are heading towards um, Nashville, Memphis area which I'm heading straight for and I would love absolutely love to take some footage of a tornado I find the whole thing fascinating. In fact, I'd love to join some storm chasers and follow some. Uh, oh, I'm going to be fantastic. Emergency, no parking. Well, I'm not parking, I'm just stopping for two seconds. <laughs> 